And I know that seems very simple uh, because it's what we all do as architects, right? We're very used to that. Um, but obviously it gets a little more complicated when you're in the three-dimensional realm that exists in Revit. Um, but at, at its core, that's what it is. Um, you're doing, you have multiple pieces of trace, but they're existing in the same 3D model. You're just not seeing them at the same time, right? So you're not putting all three pieces of trace on it. You're only you're taking one off, putting one on, taking one off, putting one on. But all those pieces of trace exist in your model. So that's kind of the concept I like to think of when I'm trying to explain design options. And then what I'll do is I'll walk through um, how I how to set how to set them up, um, how to visual how to control the visibility of them, and then of course the need to know when you're setting them up uh, and, and some of the frustrations that can come about with it. So, okay. Looks like uh, Yogi said he's been wanting to know about this design options and how to utilize them. So perfect. You have come to the right spot, Yogi. So let's jump into it. So as you saw in the little intro, I was showing um, this floor plan, um, uh, which is actually the master suite floor plan. I'm just looking at it in 3D right now. And what you'll notice is that um, there's, a, there's two layouts that I was playing with. So um, one is the bathroom on the west side, one is the bathroom on the east side. And so I'm actually able to flip between those two layouts right here. Okay. Um, if I get out of it, I'm in the primary. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, I can, I can sort of go through it. And so this is in 3D, but if I go into my floor plan. Oops. Let's try that again. Phase two. If I go into my basement phase two floor plan. Here we go. 